All right, so Rock Metal Nation, what is up? This is a special broadcast to let you know about an amazing music festival coming up. Proud to be joined by Cece Getty, and we're going to be chatting about this festival today. So, Cece, welcome to the Rock Metal Podcast. Awesome. Uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, Cece, go ahead and tell us a bit about this festival. Uh, well, this is the second year for the 420 Music and Arts Festival. Um, this year we're lucky to have Saturday for or for sorry four twenty fall on a Friday, but we got music on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, April nineteenth, twentieth, and twenty first. Uh, twenty four bands from all over North America. We're bringing up Sasquatch and the Great Electric Quest from the United States for the first time, and uh, Brant Bjork is flying in to DJ on four twenty for us as well. That's going to be pretty cool. Brant Bjork, of course formerly the drummer in Caius and uh, Fu Manchu in an awesome solo career himself. And we're pretty stoked. We're bringing out Dope Throne for their first ever appearance in Western Canada. I can't, you know, it's hard to believe sometimes a, a band as distinguished and as well toured through Europe and all that have never played Western Canada before. But uh, my wife, Celestia, that was on her bucket list. We tried last year and I don't know if they took us seriously or not, but uh, this year they paid attention and we're pretty stoked to bring out uh, Dope Throne and, and just, just a ton of other bands. I mean, it's all stoner rock, desert rock, stoner metal, doom, sludge. You know, we've got some great local favorites here from Calgary, Electric Owl, uh, Set and Stone, Haze, Solid Brown. Uh, we're bringing the Mothercraft down from Edmonton, the Chronobots coming out from Saskatchewan. Uh, actually, Derek Mendoza, huge, huge uh, influence on the stoner metal scene and the doom scene on the left coast of Canada. He's bringing up both of his bands, Mendoza and Chunkasaurus. That's pretty exciting. We had Lachinga come out last year on 420, and they blew everyone away. So we're bringing Lachinga back this year to to headline our 420 evening before Bram Bjork destroys us with his own set of music. And I don't know, Buffalo Budbuster will be there, Bazaraba. We've got Buzzard coming out from the island, uh, Orbital Express from Saskatchewan, uh, Heron from the island, Ogima from Manitoba. That's our first band from Manitoba coming to the festival. We're pretty stoked about that. Black Hell Oil, uh, the Electric Revival, I don't know, Pe Pelican Death Squad. It's just uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's going to be all kinds of music for all kinds of people, a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Now, I heard you mention Calgary a few times. just wanted to have you touch base on the location of the festival and what people should expect when they arrive. Well, we have the festival happening for the second year now at Distortion Live Music Venue at 3820 at McLeod Trail South. It's attached to the Days Inn. And by the way, people who want to come to the festival, the Days Inn has a, a Distortion 420 Festival special. When you call into the Days Inn Hotel, just ask for the Distortion 420 Festival special, and you'll save some cash. But when you roll into the festival, I mean... Um, we're going to have uh, food trucks out front. Uh, the Progi Boys and uh, Waffles and Chicks will be there to to keep your munchies uh, well taken care of. Uh, when you come into the festival, um, not only will we have you know vendors uh, selling all kinds of cool artwork and uh, artisans displaying their work, uh, we'll have uh, normal and other activists will be there talking about uh, the uh, coming legalization and what that means for everybody, as well as uh, some stuff about medical cannabis as well, because that's a, a topic near and dear to, to my heart and a lot of people that are involved in our festival's uh, hearts as well. And, and really what we wanted to do was bring a big festival vibe and a big festival feel to a small, intimate venue and bring bands that, you know, again, you just haven't had a chance to see in Calgary or in some some cases we've been lucky two years in a row now uh, bands that have never played Canada before are breaking their Canadian cherry right here in Calgary at the 420 Music and Arts Festival we're gonna have a beard contest as well Mammoth Beard Company is gonna be donating some prizes we're gonna have a cool beard contest and I don't know we might have some other things happening who, who knows we're talking to photo booth, photo booth people and uh you never know. Lots of fun stuff to do to keep you occupied besides all the great music, that's for sure. For Rock Metal Nation, who is just frothing at the ears of what they heard, is there a website that they should go to where they can find out more information and ultimately purchase their tickets? Yeah, you can go to 420musicandartsfestival.ca, and uh, as soon as you go there, you'll see the links that will take you right to the store. We have uh, three-day passes on sale until April Fool's Day for $69, and they go up to 89 so try to save yourself some cash. 
Uh, limited single day tickets for each day running from $25, $30, $35, depending on which day you want to go. And I think we have a special up that if you you know go to like uh, Thursday and you buy a ticket for Friday or Saturday as well, you can save some cash. So if you want to go to two days, you can save a couple of dollars as well. But all kinds of ways you can enjoy the 420 Festival via the, the store and figure out how you want to come to it. But I strongly recommend for $69 to come for three days. Uh, you can't beat that. 24 bands and all the stuff we'll have going on. It'll be a blast in Calgary on 420, that's for sure. Absolutely. All right. Well, CC, unless there's anything else you wanted to throw out there, I just wanted to thank you for taking time out of your day, coming on to the Rock Metal Podcast, and sharing the 420 Music and Arts Festival with Rock Metal Nation. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me. Hope to uh, see you all come down to Calgary, come out and uh, have some fun, and uh, learn about uh, the coming legalization of marijuana and uh, medical cannabis as well. Experience some great music, too.